everybody for joining here for the Tech Talk and this fantastic end festival weekend. It's unbelievable seeing so many end cars out there. It's also a good opportunity for us to show you the next chapter of high performance end cars, which is an EV, the Ionic 5N. We are very proud to have this Ionic 5N here because we're talking about the car which got the Car of the Year award from Top Gear just this Tuesday in London. We wanted to set the new standard of high performance, to build trust in our customers, to make N fans believe that there's actually a hope for electrification and high performance. We put journalists and media very early on into this car and prototypes. We went to Sweden testing, we went to the Nürburgring and we got journalists over there, and their response was phenomenal. fun to drive machines for N. It doesn't matter if it's an EV or a hydrogen fuel cell car. This is an all-wheel drive EV with over 600 horsepower with the electric motors, one in the front, one in the rear, that big battery underneath. That gave us many challenges and if you read about EV testing on a racetrack, they all have the same story. After one lap, usually, or two laps, the fun is over. But not on this hood here, right? We had the big advantage, it's an 800 volt electric vehicle architecture. And if you have 800 volt, compared to like what the others have, they only have 400 volt. We have double the voltage, so we can have half the current. And that means we have four times less heat. And then, of course, we added many, many things. We improved the cooling a lot. There's a whole different staging of cooling here. Radiators, much bigger. Everything was squeezed out to the limit that we can stay out on the track with this one. And before, everybody said, ah, oh, come on, EV, track day driving. Just forget it, it's a joke. That no EV can do this. And I gave the mission, we will prove EV can be in a track day. And this is our first answer to make the transition from the combustion car into the EV. Track driving is one of our three core pillars of N, right? We have the everyday sports car, we have the wild corner rescue, but we also have race track capability. We will always work hard that the fun of driving N cars can move on into the future. I think everyone will appreciate all of the features we've baked into this car by following the three pillars. Day to day when we're developing the car and deciding which bump stops, which pushes, how to tune a certain throttle mapping, we think about these pillars and how the car will fit into them. For you guys who are already fans of that kind of feeling and emotion and engagement, this car will make so much sense. I remember the discussions we had about three, three and a half years ago what are we doing with EV in high performance? And how do we take care of that third M pillar of high performance racetrack capability? And at the end, we decided to stay true to our brand because if you dilute the brand promise, then you feel like you're not driving a real end car. So it was always the utmost goal to be able to go with this car to the track as well. Yeah, I think uh, you coming here and having this ever-growing end festivals is uh, yeah, the biggest obligation to us to keep going, that you can continue your enthusiasm about cars and, and find a home with Honda N. Thank you for being trusting and loyal, and enjoy your day.